divided. 56 support staff from Bellingham Technical College are on strike. About the same number of faculty have refused to cross the picket line, effectively shutting the school down. The strikers want better pay and working conditions, but the school says these workers are already paid more than 12% above their peers at other tech schools in the state. What we're arguing about is respect. However, staffer Alyssa Jones says turnover is high and respect for their work is low. It says again to me that there's not opportunities here. I, we're working to give our community opportunities and then we're turning around and not giving our employees those same opportunities. These workers last walked out four years ago over many of the same issues. During that strike, BTC sought an injunction ordering the staff back to work and it's willing to do the same this time. Although no papers have been filed as of yet, we do remain very hopeful that we will get a settlement and agreement. And right now, this may be the biggest sticking point. A letter posted to the union's Facebook page calling school president Kim Perry's administration disconnected and willingly authoritarian. The union says it's been told there will be no negotiations until that letter is taken down. The college says that is absolutely untrue. Meantime, students like Lindsay Hanna just want to get back to class. On one hand, it's like, gosh, like I'm paying for my education and whatnot. Um, but I also, I love these people. I see them every day. They, you know, helped me get started with my dreams. In Bellingham, Eric Wilkinson, King 5 News.